Lewis Hamilton wins the race by over 30 seconds in 2020. That's a normal procedure, right? Not quite in Istanbul. It was, uh, it was a miraculous recovery on a race where it looked like he didn't have a chance. So just how did he manage to do it? Number one, get a good start. From sixth on the grid, it was really tricky for Hamilton. Not only was he back behind a load of guys that he's not qualified behind for a long time, but he was on the worst side of the grid as well. The inside, which had less grip, was wetter and more slippery. And we saw both Red Bulls get an awful start ahead of him. The two Alfa Romeos behind him in eighth and 10th got away poorly as well, as did Norris and Leclerc further back. But Hamilton somehow from the inside of the grid managed to get a good launch and then crucially keep it clean through turn one as well. He had two Renaults on the outside of him, it was so close to touching both. Initially Daniel Ricciardo, the first Renault who just opened up his line to give Hamilton a bit of space. That meant Ricciardo tipped his teammate Esteban Ocon round and then Hamilton was close to hitting Ocon as well through turn one. Didn't and actually despite starting on the wetter part of the grid, got from sixth up to third. Hamilton was human though in Turkey and he made a mistake on lap one. He sacrificed that third place and fell straight back to sixth behind the two Red Bulls once more and Sebastian Vettel who made a flying start going from 11th up to third place. And for the first part of the race, Hamilton was, was normal. Mercedes didn't have a car advantage in the wet in Turkey. Bottas was really struggling in the other car and Hamilton couldn't make any big inroads either. So he had to just be patient, just bide his time and wait for the opportunity to come. Lap 18 and a crucial moment as uh, Max Verstappen in the Red Bull, probably the favorite at this part of the race, up in third place, challenging Perez for second and the two racing points are just starting to struggle on the intermediate tire. But Verstappen overcooks it. He's a bit too aggressive, too risky coming through turn 11 trying to pass Perez and he keeps his foot in right on the rear wing of Perez, washes out with, uh, with understeer, with dirty air, gets on the painted stuff, spins around and ultimately that's Hamilton's main rival probably for the win at this point, kind of out of contention with a second pit stop needed for, uh, for flat spotted tyres. But still Hamilton remains patient, now in fifth place but behind Sebastian Vettel and Verstappen's teammate Alex Albon's up in third, driving very nicely in the other Red Bull. But it all opens up, just the glimmer of light he needed on lap 33, Vettel pits for a new set of intermediate tyres and just a few corners later Alex Albon gets onto a wet patch at turn 14 and spins out of third place. That allows Hamilton up into third and for the first time really in the whole Grand Prix he has a bit of clear air and immediately catches the back of the two racing points. Then it's about making a nice incisive overtake and this was no problem, DRS was now available wasn't for the first 30 laps. Overtaking was very tricky. It was difficult to get offline and there was no drag reduction system for more speed. But by the time Hamilton caught Perez, there was DRS and he made this move very, very nicely. Lance Stroll in the other racing point was in the pits as well. He pitted for a new set of inters, which left Perez as race leader and Hamilton just took him first time, no messing around, nice and easy. And uh, from there was able to just clear off with the nice open track. And he had the pace. Finally, he had good tyre management. Only he and Perez of the front pack didn't pit for another set of intermediate tyres. And Hamilton was able to just march away from Perez, who had looked good in the wet in the racing point on Saturday and at the start of the Grand Prix on Sunday, but just wasn't able to stick with the Mercedes when the track started to dry out. Winning by over 30 seconds was, uh, was pretty spectacular. And there were a couple of crucial things from in the car as well. First of all, telling his team he didn't want to pit. He didn't want to copy the normal strategy of Sebastian Vettel, Max Verstappen, Alex Albon. The convention was to take another set of intermediate tyres, but for the second time in two races, Hamilton got on the radio, told his team not to pit him. And for the second time it worked. Don't fuck it, man. Finally, the team were trying to call him in for a pit stop when there was a threat of rain. They had the chance to because they had a big enough gap at this point to Perez. I guess I have one, I think. I, I hear you. Uh, this could be slippery in that pit lane. But Hamilton's learned from previous errors. Probably this was a good decision because the right front was completely bald. The intermediate looked more like a slick, which could work on the track. The racing line was kind of dry by the end of the race. But the pit lane was still a bit wet. We saw George Russell hit the wall on the way to the grid and Hamilton on basically a slick tire trying to drive over the wet part. I'm sure he could do it, but it was a risk he didn't feel he needed to take. He didn't take and he didn't need it. 
So a 31 second win on a race that halfway through looked like he wasn't really in contention. It was another masterful drive. So it was a, a phenomenal drive from Lewis Hamilton, but there was plenty more action as well. For more analysis on the start, all the drives from the big teams as well, check it out on F1 TV tomorrow.